All right, guys. Welcome <clears throat> back to another episode of uh, Ninjas React. I think that's Ninja Talks. Ninja Talks. We, yeah, that's we don't it. react to anything. Yeah, We're yeah just that's discussing right. stuff. All okay, right. guys. So, welcome back to another episode of Ninja Talks. We're here at South Bank right now. We got the sea behind. We got the the, te- the <laughs> River Thames, Thames behind us. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, there's a little. So just in case you're wondering what that is, um, we're going to be talking about. We're going to be uh, talking about our viewing experience of James Bond, the, the new uh, yeah, the Time newest. to Die. Time to Die. <laughs> no. Is that what you said? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no time to die. <laughs> time to die, Bond. That would be a big spoiler, actually. Oh, shit, speaking, yeah. of, speaking of which, this is gonna be spoiler. Well, yeah. uh, so if you haven't, haven't seen, um... kind of spoiler free, I guess, because <laughs> now we. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's gonna be a spoiler, a spoiler full um, uh, discussion right now. Yeah, because there's some. I don't like the dancing around the spoilers. So you have a, if you haven't seen the film, go see it. Yeah. Uh, because Bond dies at the end. Ooh, yeah. If you didn't, if you didn't uh, click away in time, then unlucky. Uh, no, no, I was joking. This is every time you spoil, you make a spoiler joke. This is how you do it. Yeah, this and this dies. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in this case, in this case, actually, yeah, like if you saw the film, yeah, you know that wasn't the case. Uh, yeah. yeah exactly. Bond actually dies. Um, but yeah, anyway, we let's start from the beginning because we kind of started from the end. So, yeah. So, oh. opening sequence. Let's start what with the thing. I mean, so is that how we're gonna go? Scene by scene, because as I was watching, if you're going like this, I'll, this this podcast, this discussion will be like mm. three hours long. Okay, I was right. like, okay, this, 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 this. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Um, um, Maybe general general thoughts. I mean, yeah, whatever it's on your, you know, well, what's on your mind. The highlight of the film for me was the opening sequence. I, I just, I loved it. I thought it was great. The, uh, where all, everything seemed, it reminded me of um, Casino Royale, towards the end of Casino Royale, when he's with Vespa. Everything's going nice, and all of a sudden, stuff starts going down. It was mm. like that, but at the beginning, and it just kind of kick-started everything. Uh, the chase scene, the bit where they're in the car, and he suddenly switches on the machine guns with the lights and just swerves around and just shooting everyone. It is proper sick, actually. And I don't know, I like it when the fights take place in like these kind of Italian little towns. Like, <clears throat> I don't know, it just feels very Bond-like. Yeah, that's, that's true. Um, although, when it comes to this, I like, yeah, Italian... I don't know, it's just always uh, it's an Italian location. Like Casino Royale yeah, is in mean. Italy. Yeah. It finished in Italy, just be a bit more original. Like what I like, for example, with Fast and Furious, the last one, as ridiculous as it was, at least they took you to some new locations. It wasn't like Paris again. That's right. kind of a little bit overdone, or London again. Mm. As much as I like London, yeah, we've seen it in cinema m- millions of times. Okay, with, okay, with the Bond, obviously, because like, he's British, so yeah, <clears throat> that's kind of expected. Uh, you would expect to see Bond in London. Yeah. yeah, I suppose he's yeah. a British agent. Uh, but yeah, but in, when he goes to these exotic locations or new locations, it's just, I don't know. Come it on, has the same new. vibe. It does yeah. have the same vibe. Uh, oh, that the Norway location was kind of newish. Yeah, the but what? like yeah, with the with location, the, not the Norway one. Okay, the right, one that right. his his girlfriend was living in. Mm. Yeah, the house next to the frozen lake. Yeah, yeah. Norway. I guess I don't know. You don't see Norway that much. Uh, but like yeah, we're coming back to Fast and Furious. They went to like uh, what, Georgia, Tbilisi, yeah, and they I were no chasing idea. there. So yeah, that was kind of that was like fresh to see. Yeah, so I would like to see more of that. But but I would say when it comes to locations, maybe this Bond was kind of the same. Yeah, you got he went to like typical good-looking Bond locations. Yeah, but apart from that, I think they made loads of interesting new choices. Because when you think about the Bond films. There is this kind of sort of like a template for it, yeah. There is a villain, yeah, who has like this like a big plan, evil plan. There is chase uh, scenes, action scenes, mm. shoot shootouts, car, uh, car <coughs> chases. There is a girl, a bit of a romance. Boom, it's like a checklist. And with this one, they obviously they ticked off a few things from the checklist, but they added so many new things actually, yeah, that hasn't been done with this character before which I like yeah 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 fair enough it, they, uh, with the with the, the all second the way 007 
that was a, that was the, but with the bond himself like have bond having your daughter that was yeah. a nice one yeah that was something new you putting the character you know in new situations and that was interesting to see because you never yeah usually it was just the same you, you saw bond in each film as in, as entertaining as it was like it's yeah bond in action scene bond fighting bond in romance you've seen that but this time around <coughs> bond was you saw bond in new situation yeah with his daughter you see him with yeah. his guard down a little bit more uh, so this is yeah, what I like. Yeah, yeah, this is yeah, this yeah, is three. what I like. They they actually I always praise filmmakers when they make new brave choices. Yeah, and then uh, so that was done in this film. So I appreciate that one. Uh, but yeah, overall, it wouldn't be my f most favorite one. Yeah, because writing wise and then some plot wise, there was a few things that didn't kind of make sense there. Uh, yeah, which we yeah, like the whole uh, uh, villain wasn't very yeah, starting wasn't with very well yeah, explained. Rami 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 Malek villain Malik. He just came back out of nowhere from since the beginning of the film, That's and all of a sudden he's just got this huge empire. Yeah, I mean, oh yeah, maybe no yeah, backstory. Maybe he built it up during the years. Yeah, fine. Yeah, but my main uh, issue with it is like this is like final Daniel Craig uh, Daniel Craig. Uh, film, yeah. So I think the villain, because that was a new villain, the villain should be like someone more personal to him. So it feels more epic. The stakes are even higher. And uh, that was that yeah. kind of brand new villain, yeah. So who can they kind of they have kind of conflict there. But that was conflict within that develop that was developed within that film. If the conflict was, I think the blow they should do something with yeah. the Blofeld. Like have yeah. that, like give it kind yeah. of like a finish. Yeah, because Blofeld was like uh, this overarching arch villain. Yeah, uh, that kind of was responsible for all the things, uh, all the suffering before. And I think they should follow that one because that'll be more epic, more uh, satisfying. satisfying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah, speaking about satisfying, yeah, what do you think the final moment mm. with Bond dying? That was super ballsy. It, yeah, was, it was it was intense. I, I I got the lamp in my throat. Yeah, so especially right, especially yeah, especially when he got this like uh, he came back for this uh, his daughter, this little bunny puppet thing oh uh, yeah yeah man. and that was a new thing like bond caring like about that i like that yeah, i like he, that he had a bit of vulnerability yeah. in this Ex role. exactly yeah usually it's just it's like super human yeah always like composed always uh i mean suave and cool i suppose and was, yeah because he's retired so many times like what is this like his third film where he's come back from retirement now skyfall spectre yeah yeah i think so so if he went back into retirement as his finish, back. it'd be like, okay, well, he might just come back again. Yeah, I think that would turn into Fast and Furious ridiculousness right now. Yeah. <laughs> if they come up with some far-fetched plot for, of him, like, I don't know. Yeah, so he actually got like a, a proper finish. Like, he's definitely not coming back after that. Although they said that James Bond will return. Who, so who's going to be the next James Bond? Oh, maybe they will just restart the series, reboot, like they did with Daniel Craig, yeah? So Daniel Craig era is kind of like, there's like a, and that's new with Bond. All the films more or less, they're like, they have like continuous plot line. Yeah. yeah they're like part of a series, like but Marvel you, or whatever. you like, do you reckon it will be so, a completely separate kind of everyone, uh, cast, everything, or would it just be the same universe, but it's just Bond who's different? And like, I don't know, um, M is the same... You never know. It's down same. to creativity. Yeah, true. At this point, you can just theorize. Yeah, you never yeah, know what creative, yeah. creative directions they're gonna choose to follow. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Anyway. So yeah, I think we did. So what do you think about the yeah the, the, the end? Because it was intense, but it wasn't as satisfying as it could be. There was something missing for me. I was. I've been thinking quite mm. a lot about it. What was missing for me to make it like, like, ah, oh, yeah, that was wow. He died. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, it kind of all happened very suddenly, didn't it, at the end? Like, oh, he's just going to die. All of a sudden, he's just given up. That's it. Yeah, it wasn't built up because, you know, there was a the malfunction of that. That, oh, that was, that's kind of, what you call the it? Opening, the opening. Like, op yeah, the cave, this, whatever it is. The, the roof thing. Yeah. Um, and now, oh, yeah, okay, now I have to die. That was kind of the thing. It was yeah, sudden. Yeah, think, yeah. It's yeah. like... Uh, and another thing with that, uh, yeah, I know what was unsatisfying because there was a bit of confusion with that virus thing. Yeah, I had to actually think during the thing instead of watching it and kind of being so, like, built up emotionally. 
Because there was that scene in the pool when he was fighting with uh, the, the villain guy. <laughs> Sa uh, we need to learn the names before we do Safin, this. I think it was named. I can't remember actually. And all of a sudden, he broke this like vial with uh, some virus, and there was like a pause. And then you, as a mem uh, member, of, as a viewer, you understood. Okay, something serious this happened. Is a, this is a clearly a pivotal moment. Yeah, yeah. Like but I was like, uh, but yeah, what happens? Okay, Bond is hurt. There's blood dropping dropped. So is someone gonna Bond, die right now? Like, Bond, what? yeah, someone's gonna die. Is someone yeah. contaminated? And 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 after that there was a build up to Bond's death, yeah. Uh, but instead of being like invested into it, I was thinking like I was trying to understand what happened because oh if I don't understand this, I won't understand the events events that follow. So I was thinking about it, and so it kind of yeah, took so me off like, the I film. Was like, okay, yeah? so you can't see, you can't get back with his girl and his daughter. So that means that that virus thing means that he's. He's got the, what's it called? Uh, what was the name of the virus? Heracles? Heracles, that's it, yeah. So yeah. if he touches them, then that means that that's it. Which, so he can't. I think they should choose a different device because that's kind of new. It's a little bit too sci fi, I would say. Yeah, it's nanobots, you have them forever. Something, um, I would choose a device who does the same w w job, but it's actually known to everyone. Yeah. Um, or similar thing that that's yeah they don't they can't be together because I don't know that was a bit like slightly maybe not far fetched wouldn't be the best word but to I don't, I don't know, know I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't really feel like uh, I thought the Heracles was quite 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 interesting the way they worked the way that you can ah. kind of reprogram the nanobots to target a different group of people maybe I thought it was clever it, it was yeah, quite it far fetched it was clever yeah but. It, Maybe, yeah, maybe I'm being too picky. Maybe it's, I mean, it's a good idea, as, uh, but, but it's quite high tech thing, sort of. Yeah, yeah but you, know, but I suppose because it's MI6, yeah, maybe, and it's all government, they've maybe got the, like yeah. little secret operations going on. That, that is true, and then us common folk don't, don't mm, can't comprehend. True, but maybe understand. it was for me just one step too much into like sci fi world, I would say, maybe, mm. maybe, but James Bond. Um, has got like has had like sci-fi things before that's the thing but, uh, but this, this, is, this is the thing it's daniel craig it feels different and I, i'm not sure if i'm was on, on point uh, on, on board with like him because with that one they really went back onto old bonds gadgets the villain with headquarters somewhere in a remote location or what they did in the skyfall as well but that was kind of more grounded and realistic yeah. i would say um but this has like a proper headquarter with some, some silos and everything it was yeah. very uh, on a it was on a much larger scale, wasn't it? Yeah, and then Bond has gadgets again, and I think that what then what they did with Daniel Craig's when they rebooted Bond, and they wanted they wanted to make them more realistic, and which I liked, which yeah. I really like a lot, and they kind of they deviated from that in this film a little bit. So I was kind of mm. do I like it or I, I don't like it? I, I wasn't. I'm still kind of not decided. I didn't bother me that much, but I don't know. I think I'll just stick to it. It's just dude. something that's more like down to earth, like yeah, I'll stick level. to it because this is the trust, uh, the the path they chose at the beginning, and I think I'll stick to it yeah, like yeah, all the way yeah, to the I end. Yeah, but I don't know. Maybe fans were crying out for gadgets and silly superficial stuff. I do like a um, bit of gadgets, to be fair. Um, yeah, I, unless I it, as long as it's not like just ridiculous. True, true. But yeah, this one, that's a bit, because he had the guy, like in Skyfall, he, he, Q got back, and Q, Q, yeah, the character of Q, he always gives him, in previous film, he was giving him these ridiculous gadgets. But in Skyfall, he got this one gadget when his, uh, the, the was pistol. The gun that was registered to his yeah, fingerprint. That's cool, that's yeah, more I grounded. Like, yeah, I like Because you do have, like, uh, what you call, uh, biometric uh, weapons and stuff around yourself so that's more grounded mm. but now the car that has like the, the bombs and the, the gas seems a little bit like I don't know I thought that yeah. was cool I thought that was cool there was another I mean thing. would you use it in real life that in uh, that's the thing but the, the, the new bond was meant to be grounded so the gun makes sense yet yeah, no one can use it against you in real life right now but in real life let's say you equip your agents your MI6 boss hey you have I give you the gun that you can only use makes sense and also give you the, the car that creates smoke it's kind of oh, what is it it's like i don't know 
A bit mm. of circus here. Would you do okay, it in real life? Yeah, my six is literally there, by the way. <laughs> I mean, a bit, no, is that one? No, 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 that's in Vauxhall. My bad, not my bad. No, more. my bad. Yeah. No, yeah, it's in Vauxhall. It looks actually. like it would be more over there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the building was kind of similar. Mm. <laughs> we closed, we closed. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, where was I? I no, I think, um, I think the car had like a... It wasn't smoke, was it? It was like little bombs. But he used the smoke as well. When he did the he did the machine guns. After that, he used the smoke. Oh, did he? All right. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So uh, that's that. Um, when, that's when it comes to plot. Uh, so I think that'll be maybe my like third favorite. Yeah, Bond. it'll go Casino Royale. Definitely the, the best one. Then Skyfall probably. Then this. And I then Spectre so. yeah. and Quantum of Solace. I, I actually like it quite a lot of times. People are like complain about it, but I like it. I watched it a few times and every time I actually, I actually like it, yeah. Fair enough. Uh, so I'll need to think about the final list. Casino Royale definitely will be number one. Yeah, this Casino one, this one, this one, time one yeah. Time to die probably will be like, <laughs> I think it will, be, it will have a chance to be in my top three Daniel Craig bonds. I did um, like it. Overall, I thought, uh, overall I had a good experience. Yeah. I, I thought it was yeah. a good, I thought it was a good send off for, yeah, for the, the final the, film. This one song, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we'll make the, the villain, yeah. I think the, my main thing was the villain, make it more personal. Yeah. Yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah, the villain that was like with him, make. The, the Blofeld was it be such a good. Although I don't like the Christian Walls as Blofeld, I don't know, he's a bit too cartoonish for me. And he doesn't have this like a menacing present, I would say. When he was he's saying in that cage, yeah, and he was like, oh, I'm trying to be all menacing, like, ha ha ha, but he's, I don't know, it's a bit cartoonish for me. I'll choose someone else to be like this kind of... Who would you, who would you choose? Um, who would be a good blowfer? Although the, the actual blowfer was like bald guy with the sky, it was giving a more guy to Yeah, that's right, yeah. Um, I, don't I, think that he, I think he was pretty good as Blofeld. Although Christopher, have you seen in, in Glorious Bastards? Yeah. He was really menacing Yeah, he can in be there. very, yeah, very yeah. menacing. So, I don't know. Uh, maybe it's just his face, he's not, I don't know, he looks like a... He could be like a play, like a good... Uh, he has a face of like a good grandpa. <laughs> like he was, I think he was well casted in Alita, the battle angel. Have you seen this one? No, I haven't. He no. actually, because he was the, uh, a good guy there. He was like uh, the guy who, because Alita, he's like a, she's like a, uh, she's like a, robot, a cyborg, yeah. yeah. And yeah. he was the one, the guy who repair, he, who re was, uh, he was repairing her. So he was obviously a good guy and he was caring for her. And he actually, he was really good in that role. But anyway, uh, that's a different film. Uh, it looked magnificent and all the like pictures, photography was super, super nice. In, well, in, in Alita? No, in Bond. Yeah. Oh, right, right. Coming back to Bond. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, let's, <laughs> no, no. All right, yeah, let's yeah. stay on topic a little <laughs> yeah. bit. Yeah, no time to die slash Alita, but yeah. and then other films. <laughs> slash, slash Fast and Furious. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's that. Um, looked very nice. The shots were very well yeah. thought. That, that sequence in the jungle. I thought it was quite good where they, they were being jungle. chased and they ended up like in like the, uh, in the woods in the woods uh, yeah. yeah with all the ferns and stuff I don't think there's jungle in Norway no <laughs> that's the secret in I the Norwegian got, jungle <laughs> I got a jungle vibes <laughs> jungle vibes <laughs> like predator uh, predator vibes yeah 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 Norwegian jungle yeah <laughs> um, uh, but yeah I think uh, overall yeah I enjoyed it even before uh, despite the extensive run time I didn't get it bored. was quite long yeah i had to pee yeah. twice <laughs> uh, yeah there was a few things scenes that were kind of put there okay because that's james bond like the shower scene clearly they put it there just to show his physique it okay could, right, it, didn't, right. it didn't put it didn't help the story move forward that much <clears throat> maybe okay yeah he's like established retired maybe that was the kind of the yeah i think that's rush, what it was yeah, yeah. Um, oh one thing though that I forgot to mention is that um, I was very relieved that they didn't uh, that the other 007 didn't just kind of dominate oh, and, yeah. make, and make James Bond just look like this useless silly yeah, like yeah, I'll get apparently out this is how the first trailer present, well, presented yeah. the film like he's just put in the backseat and he's just being like just showed up by yeah, this by yeah, this yeah. Bond replacement because uh, that was our fear because there were yeah. some rumours that this Bond is very woke and like you know, uh, feminist, 
But no, mm. it wasn't like this. Yeah, actually, yeah, exactly. I actually really but liked the Lasana Lynch character. Yeah, yeah, I thought she was and good. And the, the banter and the, the way they were like um, uh, teasing each other and bantering each other. That yeah. was like, actually, she was a good adult. It, it kind of makes sense that they would have to replace the 007. Yeah, it, like plot wise, it made sense. And she made a nice gesture at the end. When he was like, yeah, like you know, what, you, you've a, you, you're, yeah. you're worthy of the title, yeah. More than I am. That, and so that was actually good. That was so our worst fears were not fulfilled. Actually, mm. they actually, they, it wasn't woke. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, uh, but look, uh, that character, that Spanish agent, yeah, in Cuba, that's. Yeah, the, the, the girl. girl. She yeah. was great, actually. I yeah, really liked but, her. But this is the part, like, oh, I've been on it. They had these jokes. Apparently, that was brought that the EB, well, Phoebe Waller Bridge writing there. It's like, oh, oh I've been only in, in training for three weeks. And then she does this, like, all oh, the action kicking, li- yeah, kicking us, this, like, holding a machine gun in one hand, a pistol yeah. in the other. Yeah, I that's mean, true. I because, thought. Because she was like badass, but she, build it uh, this way. Because that was the conscious, oh, I mean, I mean the job. You have it, because that was kind of cute. She yeah. was cute there, I thought that was gonna but be... you haven't got this buff or this buff, because yeah. she, they represent this like cute, oh, I've been in training for three weeks, and all of a sudden this, she's, she's this, just bad, like this badass. badass. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't so, get that either. So that was a bit of a contrast there. I did like her character though. Yeah, yeah. But it, that didn't make sense, it's yeah. true. So I was, that was kind of, and there I was thought, a few things like that. But I thought that was going to be like the comic relief kind of little thing there. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. okay, the, he's going to be helping her out. She's going to be kind of fumbling around a little bit. Maybe there's going to be some a little bit of luck in there. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, yeah they just, just turned yeah. her into like this. Oh, she, it looks like she's been training for 10 years. Yeah, that was a bit of a contrast yeah, for me, yeah. Uh, all right. And in the end, that scientist, he was a bit like too kind of goofy and... Yeah. yeah, he was. That was that kind was of going more cool. back into the old kind yeah. of James Bond, like comical. Like he so, was just annoying, to be honest. Every yeah. time he was on screen, I, I lost interest. Yeah, because he was like too too com- 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 comic, too much of a comic, really, for this sort of, uh, Bond. Yeah, but I would say that's minor things. Those things. Yeah. yeah. Overall, I think it's a solid film, and then out from personally, I would recommend seeing it. Especially this is like a end of an era, Daniel Craig era, and I think yeah. overall they did a good job as a final Bond film. Well, how many yeah. ninja stars would you give it? <laughs> Was it uh, up to five, uh, up to ten? What did we agree to? Ten. <laughs> I think it changes every, every time. <laughs> um, I would give it eight, maybe? Seven? Seven, eight. Seven and a half. Seven and a half, a half shurikens. And yeah, you? That's right, shurikens. I'll probably go seven. All right, so you... Average is 7.25.25. Seven and a quarter yeah. of a shuriken. It's in the higher end of the spectrum, definitely. Yeah, definitely. All right, so that's it, I guess. Would yeah. you like to add anything? I think that's pretty much uh, it. All right, so that was another Ninja Talk. See you in the next Hope one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, probably next one is going to be more training related. It's been a while since we talked training. Yeah, which is yeah. mainly what our channel is about. <laughs> so. Yeah. Um, actually... <laughs> 23 okay that's a long that's yeah, gonna that's be a long, a long run actually time. there is one thing i want to ask you that'll be good to intro but yeah well since i remember right now as a british being british yourself because you didn't really exhibit much of patriotic sentiment towards your country from when we talk but being british and watching the bond being british and that this is like a you know uh, like a major product of British pop culture do you feel how do you feel about it as a British person do you feel a sense of pride or it's just like oh it's a character he could be as well uh, I don't know Italian I don't know actually it is kind of cool that he's from from the UK like the UK has managed to produce a character that is internationally very popular rather than it being like a like an American kind of superhero. So, so like on your personal, uh, yeah, on your personal individual level, do you, do you have like a bit of a sense of pride? Like, oh yeah, he's British. I think the yeah. main thing for me is that because my aunt, my auntie is a James Bond fan, and she would always she would say to me, "Oh, Henry, when you like when you're old enough, you should play James Bond because you're English and you do all the martial arts and stuff. You should get <laughs> oh, into wow. and you should be James Bond." And I and I don't know. I've always just thought, oh, that'd be pretty cool. Oh, yeah, you never know. Yeah, you're probably you're young, too young for now. But yeah, yeah. So I've got um, some years to perfect my acting skills. Um, oh my god, that would be sick, man. That would be mad. Yeah. yeah. 
I'll make you famous from Mud Ventures, and then oh man, I'll, I'll, I'll be proud. I'll be proud. <laughs> And I could and I could play your villain. Yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> fit, fit. Yeah, I could play the villain. This, uh, yeah, I, I was thinking like, yeah, I could play the villain. I'll be like a, a another agent from competitive intelligence, yeah. and we kind of like try to one up each other. That'd be joke. That'd be sick. <laughs> okay. But yeah. yeah, in the future maybe. Anyway, mm. so, so yeah, so yeah. How would you answer my question? Do you have do you? Maybe a like little a... bit, actually. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Okay. Okay, so I guess that's it. Mm. See you guys next time. See you in the next one, folks.